everyone, welcome to another video, it's Francesco here. So what I wanted to do in this video is take a look at task managers. Now for those who are looking at task managers at the moment as options to create to-do lists or organize some of their like tasks during the day, this will be a video to sort of hopefully help you choose your task manager. So there's lots of different task managers out there. So there's like light ones that people can use in sort of daily usage like shopping lists and they're really like quite lightweight so you can use them. Uh, they don't really have much context when you add them. Uh, they have really the simplistic features that you need for a to-do list application. To the more advanced features where you can go in real rich depth including things like labels, filters, tags, all those sorts of functions that we will be sharing in today's video. So what we're going to do is run through really what defines one of these features. So you can skip ahead if you already know this, and then we're gonna showcase a few examples of task management applications. And we're gonna focus on sharing 25 task managers that you guys can go away and take a look at, um, and I can recommend a few of them. So let's jump in. There are really three types of task managers out there that you should be aware of, and this is a real general concept. So there's light task managers, and they tend to be, as I was mentioning, for shopping lists, for sort of daily usage, but more for your personal life than they are for professional. You shouldn't really sort of manage heavy projects on this. You should have like manage shopping lists or, or maybe even like uh, birthday wish lists or even wish lists, uh, any links that you're looking at. Something that you can access quite easily. Uh, a lot of people have this on iPhone, Mac, uh, and sort of go to it when they need to. So there's a second type of to-do list application and I call them mergers. And basically what mergers are, is they're an application that include and consist of two features or more. Now this could be a task manager blended with a calendar or a task manager blended with a note-taking application or some other feature. Now this is something that's fairly new to the productivity space. A few applications trying to diverse themselves when it comes to giving you an experience. So they might throw in a calendar feature alongside a task manager, but it's a way for you to coordinate some of your activities, maybe sort of try and combine your activities into one application. So you can use these in teams, you can use them uh, with other people, but then really more for your personal use, like sort of trying to bring in two applications into one. And finally, advanced task management applications, and they are really the ones that follow a routine. So things like uh, GTD uh, being a routine that people use, uh, they're really functional. So they'll include things like labels, context, um, deep features that allow you to go like using AI and deep tracking. So you really have a much more bigger playground to use when you've got these advanced task managers. Now, these are really for people who want to go serious, who, so who really might be willing to pay or might be willing to look deeper inside of their productivity instead of just, you know, that's a task. Whereas you've got to be thinking like, what's these context points that I can add to this task to do later? So there are a few of the concepts of task managers. So there's lightweight, mergers and advanced. So let's jump into a few of the recommendations for each of these. So let's start with lightweight. So the first recommendation I'd have is Swipes. Now Swipes is an application for iOS and web. It's got an Android app as well, but it's really functional. It's a very simple to-do list. They have a scheduling feature, which makes it a little more interactive. You can schedule a task for later. It'll disappear and pop up when it's relevant. I really like this application, really clean and simple. I recommend it for creatives and entrepreneurs, the ones who are sort of looking for a basic one, but they can be really um, like, I don't know, just friendly. Next up is AnyDo. AnyDo I recommend being a lightweight type of task management. It's available on Android, iOS, web. Uh, it's also got a Mac app and Windows as well. But I think it's a great way uh, in terms of like, not messing with your projects, but I just think it's a good way to like visually see stuff. They've got nice features like themes. They're releasing new AI features. They've actually embedded a calendar now, so you can sort of integrate that with it. But that's why I didn't include it in mergers. I think it's still quite lightweight in its usage. Um, they do have context points like due dates and things like that. I'd really recommend it for anyone looking for a really consistent shopping list, but also that wants to organize all of their personal life around it. I think it's a great application for that. The next one I recommend is called Azha. Now, Azha is a new application and it's really, I think it's more for students. What it does differently is it allows you to share uh, whenever you complete a task. So you can actually take a photo and share out to your feed. 
And that's a quite a cool way of actually, um, like for students that want to get things done, if they add a few more people, they can show that they're doing stuff. Um, obviously this is really dependent on whether it goes viral in the student community, but for those who are actually looking for a dead simple task manager application that sort of does everything on the tin, that has a like a reward system behind it, called like almost like karma points on Todoist, then this is a really cool option. Azure is available on iOS at the moment only. Next up is a personal favorite of mine, Wunderlist. Uh, I haven't been using Wunderlist like in my day to day, but I keep coming back to it because it's such a consistent application. Now I recommend it for those people out there who are looking for a social application, one that can connect to other people where you can share lists, but one that's really customizable. Now, I always recommend Wunderlist for students and people who are looking for a dead simple uh, task manager that is available on cross-platform, uh, really friendly, and I think it does really well. Uh, it's available on iOS, uh, Mac, Chrome, and also Android as well. It's really available, it's run by Microsoft, and I definitely recommend it for anyone looking for an easy experience. The next two I recommend are ones that I think are really like zen out and like playful and fun. They're both available on iOS and Mac. They're called Clear and Proud. So both of them look very similar. Clear has a really simplistic layout that basically allows you just to swipe them. It's very gesture based so you can pinch and zoom to basically get tasks that you need to, making lists that are really simple. Now on clear, you can actually like have a color scheme as well, which makes it look really lovely. Proud is very similar, so it has a very similar layout, but the difference with Proud is you can add these superpower features, which basically allow you to like zen out and like uh, and, and do some meditation and things like that. It has these little features weaved in, both of these are very lightweight task managers, but if you're looking for something dead simple, as I say, something really easy to use and set up, then these could be the features for you, especially if you're one for design. Both of these have awards from Apple for their design uh, and they look really good. So the next one I'd say is Tick Tick. Uh, now Tick Tick is a, I'd stay, still say it's a lightweight task manager. Uh, it's available for Android and iOS, but I think it's quite serious, but also like almost like any do sort of like, like able to expand, but you wouldn't really use it for big projects yet. Now I think it's a good uh, professional looking task manager. So if you're like, if you saw yourself on clear and proud, then maybe it's more, like it's got a bit of a like a sophisticated look. Next up is Google Keep. Although Google Keep doesn't advertise itself as a task manager, and I obviously don't recommend it many times for a task manager, it's a really great sort of post-it note task manager. So when you guys are out doing shopping lists or you guys are out doing like making notes on the go or little mini tasks to add to something later, this is a great way. I really like the way that you can change the background. You can be really uh, fun and intricate with uh, Keep. But what I like most about it is it reminds me of post-it notes, the way that you stick things about and you sort of have things around the house. It sort of reminds me of that, especially when you're viewing a web. So it's available on Android, iOS, uh, web, and also on Mac, I believe. My final recommendation is an iOS only application called Take Action, and I've reviewed it before, so I'll include the review in this video. But basically, it's like a, a reward based one, so you actually have to get the ball to the top of the hill. You set these subtasks, and you basically complete all the subtasks, get the ball to the top of the hill, and then you've got to get over another hill, and you know, it builds on uh, all of that growth as well, which is quite nice. Now, it's dead simple and a little overpriced. I think it's like $7.99 but something that I think on iOS is well designed and looks great. So there's some of the lightweight task managers. So let's move on to the merger sort of task applications that I think are deserving your attention. So the first one on this list is an application called Nine. Now it's like remarked as a visual to-do list. So what you guys can do is when you're typing in something on your task manager, it basically like, takes a photo of like from the web of that application. So if you like buy cupcakes, it'll take a picture of cupcakes. And the idea is that you can go through your list and visually see stuff. And I kind of like that idea. So that's why I call it a merger because it's got this sort of idea of visual to-do list, like visually seeing the actual item with the actual art, art task. Now, obviously I don't recommend this for like big projects or anything like that, but it's a great way to sort of do something when you're in town or like, you're, like you've got a wish list or items that you need to get, uh, then it's a perfect application for that. Moving on to the next one, Focus List is another task manager that I recommend as well. Now it's from the creators of Focus List. They've also created a Mac app called Escape, which I've also recommended in my year review. 
Now, focus list is dead simple. The idea is to include a Pomodoro timer with your task manager. So you can basically, the idea of Pomodoro timer, 25 minutes, five minutes off. Um, so you basically get this routine, but you can also set that up with your tasks. So you can actually see all of your um, tasks, but you follow a sort of suit with your um, like Pomodoro timer, which is quite cool. So you can actually see uh, what tasks you're completing and whether you completed them inside of the Pomodoro timer. Now, I really like this idea. And again, it combines like really fun and simple uh, like functions. They've got an iOS application and the escape feature is available on Mac, which I think is pretty good. It's definitely worth giving it a try. Next up is Shift. Now, this is something that I recommend to a couple of people when I'm discussing through email, because a lot of people will say, you know, Francesco, how do I manage personal and business tasks at the same time? And of course, I use Todoist with a lot of filters, but with people who want a sort of simple application that isn't distracting and won't necessarily use one of those more advanced ones, I always recommend Shift. It basically has a panel for your personal tasks and your business tasks or your work tasks. And the idea is that it'll put it in different colors. So when you switch between, you get a different association. I really like this application. I always recommend it to others. I think it comes at a small price, but it's definitely worth the cost. It's available on iOS, and I think they're expanding to other applications soon. The next one I recommend is Asana. Now you guys may have heard of it, so I'm gonna be pretty short with this one and include the video in the description to the Asana uh, overview. But basically Asana allows you to project manage with your team as well as make a task management list. Now, Paul Miners, include the video in the description, he basically goes over how he uses Asana as a task manager for his personal stuff, which is pretty cool. So you can use it as personal and you can use it as a team, but I'd really recommend it for those looking for like a professional individual, one who's sort of working towards something um, and not necessarily for a shopping list. Next one I recommend is called Get Plan. Now, I've reviewed this before, Plan 2.0, you may have seen it but it combines a calendar and a task manager. But it doesn't really go into too much context with the tasks, but it's a really cool way on the web to see your calendar in front of you, but also weave in tasks and have this list ongoing. Now it's dead simple and it looks great. Uh, visually, it looks fantastic, both on iOS and on Mac, uh, but it's only for the web browser at the moment. Uh, but it's a great way to coordinate all of your activities. Now, what I do is I tend to have to do my calendar and then go back to my to-do list. So this might bring two things together. Now, they don't have any integrations, but I definitely think they ha might have plans for integrations in the future. Next one is a iOS only application called Gno. I think I'm pronouncing it right, Gno, G-N-E-O. Now, Gno is something that when I downloaded it, I was like, what is this? It's got like loads of layers to it, but basically allows you to use certain like like techniques like quadrant systems so you can actually assign your important tasks in the top right hand corner non-important urgent but basically it's a great way to use a task manager but in a very intricate way and apply different types of system now it's a 7.99 download so i definitely go through the screenshots uh, what I'll do is I'll include a link to the app's website in the description so you guys can check out what it does. But it's really advanced in that, but it also keeps that simplicity and you will understand when you're on it and you see it because it's very easy to like understand. Next up is Meister Task. Now, this is something I reviewed again before, but I'm, I'm actually due for another review. They've got an Android application, an iOS application as well. They've also got a great web app but it's a way to visually see your tasks. Now it sort of blends the idea of Trello with a sort of dashboard understanding. Now I really like the idea. I think it's a really smooth experience. It includes things like colors that I really like um, into like how you visualize it. But the idea is that you can help uh, add people to it. So you've also got your team and yourself to organize, which is pretty nice. Final one is Handle, and Handle basically uses a task manager and it clips onto your Chrome browser and also onto your Gmail as well, but it helps you create tasks as you go about your day. Now it's got a really nifty iOS application. I'm gonna explore it more. I'll include all of the information in the description to Handle, um, but it's something that I'll probably do a full review on anyway. So now let's move on to the more advanced tools and task managers out there. So let's start with the most obvious one is Todoist. Now this is, I grant it a task advanced features because of the way that it is set up. Now it's set up in a sort of style that is really easy to use, but has a rich amount of function inside it 
very similar to some, it keeps a really simple function, but also a great uh, de depth that you need when you're using an advanced productivity application. Now it's available on all devices, which is great. And it's got some fantastic design as well. Now moving on to OmniFocus, this is a more GTD focused application. At $29.99, it is a expensive application, but something that if you are really into GTD and you know where you're going with everything, then it might be worth the cost. Now, I, I played around with it. Uh, you have to have a very strong knowledge of GTD uh, to be able to set up the system efficiently in the way that you work. Now, you also have to download the Mac, which is another uh, fee on top. I think it's about $49.99, so it's a very expensive feature. Now, this is really what I recommend for those people who've read GTD and they were very rigid in their system and they want to stick with something that works for themselves. Now, the next two I recommend are To Do and Things. Now, To Do, again, is another rich one. It really reminds me of like what would happen if there was a blend between Todoist and OmniFocus. It's sort of that middle ground there. It's a really strong application, really well designed. I'd recommend it for anyone looking who has a GTD experience but also wants to like go a bit deeper with their task management application. So Things and Chaos Control are both very similar applications. Chaos Control follows a more GTD focused experience and Things is a GTD focus, but also has a bit of functionality to it. So you can like, like you don't have to follow it. It's got a bit of friendliness to it as well. So it's, it's very open and broad. Both of these applications I really see being quite similar, although Things has a better design. It's available on iOS and Mac and Chaos, Chaos Control is very rigid. It's also available on Android as well. Chaos Control never really appealed to me a great deal. I'll include my review in the description but I think it's very rigid in its structure. Next one is Remember the Milk. Now this is a very famous one from the past, but it's a great application. Now they've brought it back. Um, it follows a very strong like GTD style. Uh, it reminds me of like early days of Todoist. Uh, it's a very good web application. The iOS app is fantastic as well. Um, and I really like it. I think it's definitely worth your attention if you're looking for an advanced productivity application. It's $29.99 a year. Pretty, it's, it's a good application for what you're getting. Drop Task is another one, something I've reviewed in the past, but basically they've added a bit more function to it. It's basically a visual, to-do list as well. So you've obviously got mind maps and you can drop tasks inside these are little circles and it helps coordinate things, especially with teams. I never thought of this working uh, as well as I did, but when I tried it again recently, I thought it does have a, like, a really nice flow to it. So you guys can like dump stuff in different items and follow stuff around. It's very playful and fun, uh, but also keeping a very strict advanced setup. So you can actually have, you can have a depth of feature in all of the tasks that you put in. And finally, my real advanced application that you can use in a professional personal setup, as well as with Teams is Knotsby. Now Knotsby is something that I reviewed a few weeks ago and it's something that I highly recommend for any teams. I really like the way that how, like how it's set up. It's set up in a very similar way to to do this with, uh, to do uh, in a very beautiful fashion in terms of the design, but also a very functional application, um, and even more so with Teams. So it's sort of like a to do is to do and uh, Asana setup because it's in the way that it's brought together. Now it's available on pretty much every application as well. Uh, I didn't find an issue finding the app for it on other devices. And I think it's another recommendation for you guys. Anyway guys, I hope all of these recommendations helped. Now I'm sure this will be a really long video, but there were 25 task managers here. So you guys can go away and have a look at what your choices are. Now a lot of these websites explain these probably better than I do in terms of copy and explaining everything there. But uh, if you need any uh, advice, do email me or drop a comment in the description with the task manager you're using at the moment and also the one that you think you should be using or could be using in the future. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'd really appreciate if you liked the video. If you enjoyed it and think that it could help a friend or a colleague or someone like that, definitely just take the URL, post it out an email, or just share it on Twitter and I'm sure someone will find some value from it that they can go away and take into their systems. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, I put out regular content. I only just put out one video like a year. I put out like three videos a week, so please do subscribe because I'm sure there's more videos that might help you. Whether you picked one of these applications inside this video, maybe Todoist or Asana or like Meistertask, there will be a video that will help you go a bit deeper with your experience, understanding the full function of the application that I've created. So definitely worth subscribing. Uh, that was a big plug, but I'm sorry. 
Anyway, guys, make sure to have a great week. Keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very, very soon. Cheers.